Hello everybody, happy Sunday and welcome to another update for my hashtag 365 days of samples. So I'm just going to dive right in and start with the products that I would not purchase the full size of. So I'm going to start with a bunch of the Urban Decay lipstick samples because I did finish a bunch of them a couple of nights ago. I decided to just have some fun, play around with some of the lipsticks, mix and match things together, layer things. It was just one of those like in your pajamas sitting on the floor mixing things together and like swatching on my arms and putting on my face and it was a lot of fun i i enjoyed that i kind of needed that just to do that and i wanted to start moving some of these out because i've been working on them for for so long and they're just really high maintenance because they're little packs so anyway the first one that i would not purchase is gash so it's this red shade and as always I go in and I s spend some time trying to get a s nice looking swatch out first which is why I have all these ones here um, but that's on the top the red is gash and I've worn this in a previous video it's a cream formula which is nice but it's definitely a little slippery I really like dark colors to be matte so they don't move as much I find with like creams or glossy lipsticks and dark shades they really kind of move around and bleed on me and they just don't they just don't stay as well so also I'm not a red lipstick person so realistically um, I'm I'm not gonna buy a true sort of red shade because I wouldn't wear it the last two I wouldn't buy are both sheer formulas these are definitely my least favorite formulas of all the urban decay lipsticks because I like my lipsticks to be pigmented I don't like to see my regular lips peek underneath and just layering things together I just don't see the, I don't see the point I don't like a glossy lip anyway if you liked a glossy lip and you had some matte lipsticks that you didn't like as much um, a couple of these sheer lipstick formulas might be a better option for you because you could layer them on top but not for me so I have a hot pink shade and sort of a orangey like apricot shade and it's sheer anarchy which is the pink and snitch which is that one so that is sheer anarchy and that is snitch there so they look pretty they do not show up anywhere nearly as opaque on your lips as they do with a heavy swatch so they do not look like that on the lips another repeat product that I've used before this is the philosophy time in a bottle serum so that's what the sample looked like I've used this a couple of times and I've just solidly landed on a hard pass for this. I've used other serums that I've seen a much better effect with. I know there are some people who think you really need to spend weeks and weeks and weeks on skincare to get a feel for it, whether or not it's going to benefit your skin. I don't know. You like using something for three straight days and then not seeing any kind of improvement, but then using switching back to something that works and seeing your skin look better. I mean, it's, it's telling me that that's not working as well for me as the other thing. So it's not that it's bad. It's not that my skin had any adverse effects to it. It just doesn't work as well as other serums that I like. And I forced myself to finish the Kiehl's body cream. You guys know I don't like body creams. This one had no scent that I could really pick up. So that was good. It's very, very thick. It's a very heavy heavy body cream once I tried it on a little bit first and realized how quick it was I was just like I need to get this over with in one shot and I just used the entire pack on the rest of my body and it was a terrible experience because I don't like the feeling on my skin I just I could go on and on and on but I've already done that so you guys know if you've watched any of my other videos I do not like body creams which is why I would not purchase it if you were a body cream person who has really dry skin you would probably really appreciate this and really like it I recommend it to those people if you do not like body lotions balms butters etc like me you would not like this so now on to products that I would purchase the full size of I don't have many products at all this week just because I'm working on so many deluxe size samples products that take a longer time to use so the first thing I'll start with the lipstick that I would purchase this is disturbed and disturbed and that's that second one swatched there so it's definitely a bit of a red shade but it's a deep red shade it's actually somewhat similar to what I'm wearing although this is not disturbed but it's very similar it, it's got a little bit of red in it and I've discovered that I really do like the deep dark reds 
the reds that are almost black or the reds that are almost brown, anything that's almost something else with just a little bit of red in it, I really do like. And I find it to be very flattering on me. When I put it on, I'm like, yes, I can see myself wearing this a lot. It's got a little bit of red in it. So I guess it's true when they say there's a red for every person because I do like dark red lipsticks. It's not what you'd think of when you think of a traditional red lipstick, but I think it might be classified in that category. Maybe it's more of a wine shade, but you know, it's got it's got a little bit of red in it. So that's what works for me. So Disturbed is a comfort matte formula, which I really, really like. One of my top favorites in the Urban Decay lipstick formulas. I find them very comfortable. As the name would suggest, they're very easy to apply, very easy to wear, and it lasts for a very long time. So that shade, Disturbed, I would 100% buy. The Shu Amura Youthful Radiance Generator. So I've been using a bunch of Shu Amura products, and I've been using them together because I have a bunch of deluxe size samples I'm working on as well, and I am loving them so much. They are just making my skin look so good. There's a couple of them that I'm just like, I probably gonna need that. And this is one of them that I really do like, the uh, the Youthful Radiance Generator. It makes my skin look glowing. And there's a couple other products in there that you, when you pair them all together, it's like, dang, I have good looking skin. So to say the least, I was very happy with this product and it's on my wish list. And the last product is another skincare product and it's in the category of why you so expensive because it's, it's it's crazy. This is the Fresh Ultimate Nourishing Honey Mask. So it was a really generous sized tub and it was packed full and it was a amazing. So my skin has been feeling really good recently. I can feel it and I'm like yeah I can feel like my tech the texture of my skin feels better and then when I would apply this mask and after I rinsed it my skin was like silk. It was I was I was always just like touching my face because I was like it's so soft. It's so soft. This mask makes your skin feel and look incredible. Like this Using this mask and then using some of those Shu Amura products glow like baby skin, like skin that just looks untouched by anything. It just looks so pure and beautiful. I it's I just wish I wouldn't have to put like a second mortgage up on my house in order to buy this stuff. <laughs> like it's just unrealistically expensive. And I guess that's because it works. So gonna be adding this to my wish list. Probably not going to be buying it anytime soon, but I really wish I could. The sample box. Yeah. So because I'm working on so many deluxe size samples, I'd be really tempted to not pick any products, but that's no fun. So I'm going to pick five and we'll go from there. So one, two, I've been watching too much Sesame Street because now all of a sudden I'm going one, ha, 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 two three, four, and I'm picking foils, by the way. Five. All right, the first product I have here is from Ren, and it is the Flash Hydro Boost Instant Plumping Emulsion. I have a cleanser from Jack Black. I think that's like a men's skincare, but I don't see any reason why women can't use it. This is the Deep Dive Glycolic Facial Cleanser. I have from L'Occitane the Divine Cream, which I've used previously, but I see that it says new formula, so we shall see. Really happy about this one. I have another sample of the Youthful Radiance Generator from Shu Amura. You will never see the text on this because it's so tiny. And the last thing I have is a sample of the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in taupe, but I actually own the full size of this product. I think I have medium brown, dark brown maybe, 
I've got I've got one of these anyway because I had used a sample of this previously and then I ended up buying it. So I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to put this aside for someone else to use. So I'm not going to replace the brow powder. I'm just going to stick with the four new samples. I'm going to take it as a sign that I should just spend more time on the older stuff instead of worrying about the new things. So I will try with the four new things. I will continue working on the old one. And then my update for next week will hopefully be better because I will have finished a bunch of the deluxe size samples. Hopefully. So anyway, that is everything for my update. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye. And I was putting a bunch of different wands on, wands, wands. But especially if you have sensitivities to fragments, fragments. This is the Fre French glitter somehow got into my sample box. And now some of my samples are covered in glitter. And on the packaging I say, I see, I say.